What is up, guys? It's Andy, and you're listening to the show for the realist. Say goodbye to the lies, the fakeness, and delusions of modern society, and welcome to reality. Guys, today we have Andy and DJ Cruise Internet. That's what we're going to do. That's why it's called CTI, Cruise the Internet. Uh, we came up with the idea for CTI uh, just fucking around in the locker room. It's become one of our most popular shows. Appreciate you guys for liking it. Some people think it's terrible. <laughs> uh, this is where we cruise the internet. We put up the headlines of the day. We talk about uh, what's going on in the world. We make some jokes. We talk about what's true, what may not be true. We speculate a little bit, and we have a good time doing it. Uh, other times when you tune in, we have Q&AF. That's where you submit your questions, and I give you the AFs. Uh, you can submit those questions, too. Guys, as always, email those questions into askandy at andyforseller.com. Or... If you're watching on YouTube, just a reminder, we're on YouTube again, or now, or for the first time ever. I don't know why I said again. I think it's because I'm saying it again. Anyway, we're on fucking YouTube, all right? And uh, we've been on the audio platforms exclusively for nearly a decade, so a lot of you guys haven't caught on to that yet. But uh, if you drop your comments in on the YouTube q and episodes, uh, we'll pick some questions out of those comments as well. Then other times when you tune in, we have Real Talk. That's 5, 20 minutes of just Real Talk. I'm going to get better about doing that at least one a week, every single week. I know you guys like those. And then we have full length. Full length is a uh, conversation interview style format. Uh, and then we have a fee for the show. And the fee is very simple. If you, if you laugh, if it makes you think, if it gives you some good information, if it helps you out, okay, if you learn some shit, whatever, if you get value out of the show, all we ask is that you share the show. I don't run ads for the show. I don't run ads on the show. I don't answer a bunch of corporations telling me what I can and can't say. I also share with you uh, my multiple decades of fairly successful entrepreneurial advice. I'm pretty good at what the fuck I do. I give you that for free, all right? So if you get something out of the show, all I ask is that you share it. That's it. You want to buy my course for $997? Um, I mean, if you want to send me $997, I'll fucking take it. But, you know, it's real simple. If I do good, please do good by us. That's it. If I don't do good, don't share the show. Cool. So that's it, man. Yeah. What we got? <laughs> uh, I haven't been paying attention, dude. Listen. I've been reading so much lately. I've, been, I've had my head in a bunch of books, and uh, I'm I'm actually much happier. Listen, I'll tell you this: we got some dicks, and so dicks are involved in this show. Dicks, dicks. plethora of dicks. Pleth we got we got some dicks. They're is it more be... than two that are on my trophy over there? Yes. Oh, it is. Yes. About, okay. So this about, is the dick show. There's about four of them. Four. Yeah. That sounds like a a, a, a dick extravaganza. I'm just saying. Just get ready. Brace your, get brace get ready for an extravaganza of dicks. Yes. Okay. Yeah. A plethora of dicks. Plethora of dicks. A, a variety. Yep. A bunch. International. International. International dicks. So this is inclusive. Dicks. This is all dick inclusive. By all means of the word. All right. Yes. All right. Well, I'm interested. <laughs> it dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it, man. It's all been right. a minute, but we actually, we, we got something coming over oh, right yeah? now. It's been a minute. It has. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 Guys, we got breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news headline. Um, <clears throat> this he headline is brought to you by Andy Told You So. Reads, US FDA, CDC, see early sign of possible Pfizer uh, bivalent COVID shot linked to stroke. Damn. Yeah. I mean, this is a Reuters uh, article that just came out. Um, and it says... Uh, right, right up front, it says this January 13th story has been refiled with an edited headline to clarify that the link uh, to a stroke is possible, not definite. OK, uh, but a safety monitoring system flagged the U.S. drug maker Pfizer Inc. Uh, and German partner Biotech's uh, updated COVID-19 uh, shot could be linked to a type of brain stroke in older adults, according to preliminary data analyzed by U.S. health authorities. Uh, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC and the uh, FDA, said on Friday that a CDC vaccine database had uncovered a possible safety issue in which people 65 and older were, most, uh, were more likely to have an ischemic stroke 21 days after receiving the Pfizer BioNTech uh, bivalent shot, uh, compared to, uh, with days 22 to 44. Um, now, everybody's talking about it. Even CNN is admitting on it and starting to talk about it. Um, but here's the weird thing. They're still telling people to get boosted and still get it. So, yeah, that, 
this have the CNN headline reads: CDC identifies possible safety issue. This is CNN. Yeah, this CNN. is CNN. Possible safety issue with Pfizer's updated COVID nineteen vaccine, but says people should get still should still get boosted. Um, <clears throat> like everybody's talking about it, but here's the thing: I pulled up because what, what they're not saying they're saying it's just strokes right now, mm-hmm. and they're saying that they're it's not, not talking about myocarditis, not about all the myocarditis, even yeah. though the difference between a heart attack and a stroke are, are very minimal. They're the same thing essentially. One's just going to the brain versus one going. To, it's a blood clot or the the as these, uh, this article links, it says heart attacks and strokes have quite a bit in common. They're both medical emergencies caused by a sudden cutoff in blood flow. In the heart, it's going to the heart, and in the stroke, it goes to the brain. So, But it ain't that. And you should still definitely get it. What do we got on this, Andy? Well, look, dude. I mean, I've only done three years of content trying to warn people about this. It doesn't, on a basic level, dude, look. It doesn't take someone... Unless you are very young and you just don't have a lot of life of experience. And this is, this is the case for a lot of people, right? A lot, they've activized or activated a lot of these 22 and under people when they don't have the experiences with the world that people my age do. And so it, from people with my perspective, it's very easy to see over the course of time what happens when you rush out of medication. Because for our whole lives on TV, we've seen... Have you or your family done this? And if so, you can sue for this. The only difference now is they made this a vaccine to where you can't actually sue under the technical definition of the vaccine. These companies have immunity for that. They have protection for that. So, you know, like for me, it was always very easy to to at least have very strong caution. And I think I'm overly cautious also because I have already a heart arrhythmia that I deal with anyway. So I'm cautious about a lot of things. And it was very obvious to me, like, hey, man, this fucking isn't a good idea, especially when looking at the data of the actual deaths uh, of COVID that they that were the real deaths. Okay, because if you remember how they did the testing with the PCR test and turning the cycle rate up, they created a lot of fucking fake news about like 97 percent, I believe. Yeah. And when they were they were incentivizing people to when patients died from COVID, they're doing all these things that boosted the numbers up, which boosted the fear up, okay? And when with the fear high, people were willing to not think and just go ahead and get a fucking shot, all right? And so here's what confuses me, and this is what I struggle with, is like, how can we see, because like, dude, what's happening at this point in time, it's undeniable. Like, it's fucking everywhere. We're seeing it everywhere. People are, fu- people are fucking dying subtly all over, the death rate is in excess from depending on what country you look at. If you look at the insurance data, it's between 13 and 40 fucking percent, depending. Okay. Um, when you look at all of these things, it's bizarre to me, and this is the part I struggle with, that still the people who got the shot for the most part are still defending the fact that they did the right thing. Like I've seen tweets saying, well, I don't care what happens to me because I did the right thing out of the goodness of my heart. Yeah, but here's the problem, bro. These people lie to you and they gave you something that could fucking kill you. And all those people that you attacked for two or three years, those people, they were trying to show that to you. This is a, you are in this position because of your ego and your pride. And if we are to get out of this position, people who got this shit, who are now terrified, okay, they need to remove their ego and they need to say, fuck, I got fucking played and I got made to hate my neighbor across the street and my family. I didn't let him into Thanksgiving because they propagated all this shit into my brain, propped up all these false numbers and made me believe shit that wasn't true. And instead of saying, oh, we need amnesty, you should be apologizing and saying, fuck, man, I got fucking played. Sorry, bro. I apologize for the way I reacted. Learn a lesson and get on the same page, everybody get on the same page so we can hold the motherfuckers accountable that did it. And to me, that's the part I struggle with. Like, why the fuck are you still mad at me, bro? Why are you still fucking hating on me? Why am I still getting a DM from you talking shit when all I've done for the last three fucking years is try to help you not get fucked with? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, what's, what's the other part too that's crazy and mind blowing is like, you know, we're we're seeing more of these more more of these cases happen. People just collapsing, dying suddenly. Think about it like this, bro. Bro, like, I, I think that's only the that's only the quote unquote famous people who are in the 
Like, what about the people who aren't fucking don't That's have a I'm namesake? Like, I think we are seeing the very a very tip. small percentage. Like, as there. much as they accelerated that narrative, they are suppressing this narrative. Like, dude, they're trying. Like, people are trying to shame people into asking. Like, dude, when you see a young person die suddenly, which has become the catchphrase, when you see that happen and you ask. Well, were they vaccinated? These people freak the fuck out. It's like, listen, bro, you were fucking trying to demand that I get vaccinated. You were trying to exclude me from society. You wanted me not in restaurants. You wanted me not in public. You wanted me fired from my job. Okay, so when we see a young motherfucker that shouldn't be dying die, it's totally okay if we say, hey, was this person vaxxed? Yeah. It has nothing to do with you personally. You made the decision. It was your choice. You chose to believe the shit. You made a mistake, okay? And you should come to terms with that. Listen, if, if I was unvaccinated and died suddenly, you would have no... Well, was he vaccinated? He should have been vaccinated. Look, then. bro, I don't you know like... <laughs> I, I have a real problem with the, the both sides attacking each other yeah, at this yeah. point in time. Like, that's not productive. Mm -hmm. Like, if we're to get out of this situation, we must have some sort of unity, and the unity should be based around... These fucks did that to our people. Mm -hmm. And we need to remember like those people that you hated, those people that you fucked with, those people that you told to get, bro, you made a mistake. You should own that mistake. You made a mistake so bad that now you're walking around with shit in your body and you're scared to death. Stop hanging on to it. Let's get on the same page and let's hold the motherfuckers accountable that fucking did it and demand accountability. Because dude, from my point of view, and I'm not the smartest motherfucker in the world, but to me, I think it's going to take all of us to get this fucking done. And I think it's going to take people to stop, you know, listen, bro. It's happening. People are dying. This is reality. It's, ha it's not bullshit. It's not fake. It's fucking CNN is covering it now. Okay. Do you know how bad it has to be for CNN to fucking cover that? It's bad. Yeah. And so like, dude, if this was you and you made that poor decision, Bro, release yourself of the burden and just say, fuck, man. I, and, and apologize. Those family members you wouldn't let to your house or you criticize or you talk shit to, pick up the fucking phone and say, hey, bro, I'm sorry. Because it goes a long fucking way, bro. Like, dude, it's not a very intelligent thing. You know, when you find yourself in a hole, bro, you know what the first thing you should do? Stop fucking digging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's sure. it. No oh, shit. Bro. I just wish people would fucking get on that page. Yeah. I think it's just so crazy that like they still think that like we're so stupid that like while addressing the obvious, they're still trying to sell people to get this fucking boosters and shit. Bro, bro it's my listen, this that is, shit that should make you listen, furious. My personal opinion, my personal opinion is that COVID was deployed intentionally. So the vaccine would then be fucking deployed. That is my personal opinion. I don't believe that the vaccine was for COVID. I believe that COVID was for the fucking vaccine. You got Bill Gates on TV talking about depopulating the world. You got fucking Klaus Schwab in the World Economic Forum talking about depopulating the world. You got Bill Gates in a TED talk talking about fucking, uh, if we do a good job with vaccines, uh, we could probably reduce the population by X percent. Like, dude, He's saying it right to your fucking faces. Like these people are saying it. You're like, you're just not believing it. Or you're, you're thinking there's more context or they mean something else. No, they fucking don't. And the reason people can't come to terms with this because it's so fucking evil, people can't comprehend it. Well, that's your first mistake. Your first mistake is thinking, what, what do they say? They say the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was what? Convincing, Convincing everybody they didn't fucking exist. A lot of you motherfuckers have been in such a fucking paradise for so fucking long, you forgot that there's evil fucks out there. And that's my personal opinion. You call me whatever the fuck you want. But as far as I know, for most of the shit, I'm batting like 98% on the shit that I told you was going to happen for the last three years. The other 2% that I was wrong, quote unquote wrong about, in my opinion, just hasn't happened yet. Exactly. <laughs> so, yep. you know, like, bro, I, you know, these are, I, that's my personal opinion. I think, I think this was intentional. I think it was meant to fucking accelerate people's deaths. Now we're and not supposed to say shit about it. That's right. And no. I think we're supposed to fucking ignore it. Mm -hmm. And honestly, part of me thinks, and, and this is very fucking taboo to say, but part of me thinks 
the people that didn't fucking get it weren't supposed to fall for it. They weren't supposed to take it. And that we were supposed to prey on the fucking most brainwashed part of civilization to fucking remove those people from society. I don't know, bro. Yeah. Like, I think about this from all that's these some different- deep shit, though, man. I know. Yeah. I know. And people, like, I don't know if that's true or not, bro, but, like, if you were going to thin the herd and really depopulate the planet, that's their words, not mine, would you fucking keep the smart people that were able to see through propaganda or would you keep the fucking people that weren't? Yeah. yeah. Social Darwinism, bro. It's, it feels like accelerated Darwinism. And I'm not trying to insult people. But like, bro, there's people that the people fell for the propaganda and there's people that didn't. And there's a very clear line between the two. So, and I know that's going to fucking piss some people off, bro. But like, I didn't say, I'm not the one on stage saying depopulate the planet. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not the one fucking formulating these vaccines. I'm just guessing because I believe that there was malintent and I believe that there was fucking sinister, nefarious things going on here. I'm trying to fucking put myself in what the fuck they're thinking. That's real. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll see this. No, we're going to know over the next three or four say, years. Yeah. People don't pe like this. What we're seeing now, you, you guys make an assumption. A lot of people make an assumption that, oh, this is, this is it. What if this is just the beginning of all of that? What if this is just the beginning of all of the all of this shit? Yeah, because according to their plans, we got what seven more years. Well, I'm just yeah, bro. Like, you know what I, I'm saying? Theoretically, I have a feeling this is going to get a lot worse, man. I really fucking hope I'm wrong. I really fucking hope I'm wrong, dude. And I hope I'm super paranoid and I'm fucking way off base. I really do because if I if I if I am, that means a lot of people won't die. But I personally believe these people are evil as fuck. I believe we shouldn't trust a word they fucking say. I believe that they are intentionally enslaving humanity and fucking with people and causing our quality of life on the ground level to be shit while they steal and, and fucking oppress and fuck with us. And bro, this, and this is why you guys have to rise above the left, right narrative, right? Or the black, white narrative or the fucking, you know, the, all the narratives like, bro, these, those are all in place to get us to infight so that we will somehow not notice all this shit they're doing to us. And that's how I see it, man. You know, and like, bro, like I said, I'm not the fucking smartest motherfucker on the planet, bro. There's a lot of people a lot smarter than me, but my track record is pretty good in all areas of life. I've done okay. I'm not a fucking moron. I know that for sure. You know what I'm saying? And so like, dude, maybe a lot of people just won't say this shit, but like, I think that, like, it's also interesting. Have you noticed? Well, you may not have noticed, but I noticed that a lot of the other business podcasters are now talking about current events. Oh, yeah. Which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. Just remember who fucking did that first for three years before anybody else chimed in. Well, guys, that was a breaking news, man. Let's get into these headlines. Headline number one. Oh, shit. I thought that was a show. <laughs> Bro, I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, man. I'm like, I, it scares me. No, dude, it's, 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 it's real shit, man. Well, you got hemorrhoids or something? I got pee. Oh. You want to take a break? Can I? Yeah, go ahead. It's, it's a lot quicker than my shits. All right. I promise that. How was your pee? It was, was it relieving? What, Dude, I'm a bottle in, bottle out right now at this point. <laughs> you am trying to get my water you, Yeah, in. you must have had a lot of water this morning. Yeah, this, have, I'm, this is my last four. Oh, so really? I already drank four of these, yeah. All right. So it's, it's like a one-to-one -one ratio right now. <clears throat> Pissing out Dasani. Okay, we're on topic one. Headline <laughs> <laughs> number one reads, uh, Biden may have jeopardized national security with document stash, Shift says. So President Biden may have jeopardized national security by storing classified documents from his time as vice president at his home and at the office of his think tank, a top Democratic critic of President Donald Trump's handling of classified documents said Sunday. Quote, I don't think we can exclude the possibility without knowing more of the facts. That's coming from Representative Adam Schiff, Democrat of California, told NBC News' Jonathan Carl when asked if Biden may have jeopardized national security by taking the documents. Quote, we have asked for an assessment in the intelligence community of the Mar-a-Lago documents, Schiff said. 
I think we ought to get the same assessment of the documents found in the think tank as well as the home of President Biden. Quote, I'd like to know what these documents were. I'd like to know what the intelligence community assessment is, whether there were any risk of exposure and what the harm would be and whether any mitigation needs to be done, Schiff says. Uh, Biden's personal lawyers discovered the documents while going through an old storage unit. Uh, the White House revealed Monday. Meanwhile, the records at Biden's Delaware home were kept in the garage next to his prized classic Corvette. Attorney General Merrick Garland on Thursday uh, appointed former Maryland U.S. Attorney Robert Hur as special counsel to lead the investigation. Speaking on ABC Schiff, uh, defended Biden's response to the document discovery in contrast to Trump's alleged mishandling of documents found at uh, in his home uh, at Florida Mar-a-Lago. Um, and everybody's talking about it. So here's here's an update from the last time we talked a about CNN this article. This is a CNN article. OK, White House counsel's office says there are no visitor logs at Biden's Wilmington home. Is Wilmington his, his beach house? Mm -hmm. It is. Yep. Hmm. Yep. It's interesting. He spent like, I don't know, half of his presidency there. 163 days there. Is that how many days? Mm -hmm. Man, you're on it. Oh, I got you, baby. Yeah, all right. I got you. So 163 days, like I just said, all right, <laughs> this motherfucker's at his fucking beach house and no logs? No logs, man. You don't think Barack Obama came to talk to him at all? You don't think Soros did? You don't think fucking, uh, you know, shit, any of these- Klaus th might have even been there. We don't know. It's weird. You know, and you don't think that we'd be interested to see who the fuck is actually meeting with him when he's at his beach home? Did they order takeout? Yeah, no shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Oh, I, yeah, ah, yeah. There you go. Little hot dogs and pizza reference. Order that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Order it. But, uh, yeah, dude, I mean, how do we know? Right? I mean, you're talking about That's like, that QAnon shit, bro. Just saying. Uh, do you, you know, fucking, you're going to get us in trouble now. Just saying. I'm just saying. Fucking QAnon DJ. Just saying. All right. CNN's talking about it. I think it we can talk kinda, about it. It is weird, man. Like, you know, I here's what else I think is weird. Like, don't you think it's weird that Adam Schiff, who fucking is like a total dirtbag, mm -hmm. fucking progressive douche, uh, has all of a sudden <laughs> now, and like all these other Democrats and mm -hmm. all the fucking press machine and all these people are now throwing Biden under the fucking bus. I think it's so interesting. Isn't that Andy? weird? It is. It's almost like... <clears throat> It's almost like they decided that it was time for him to go. It's and almost like they want him to fail. Yeah. It's like, you know, oh, well, you know, we're tired of this dude. He's, he did his job. He destructed the country for the first two years like we needed him to. Uh, he did exactly what we wanted. He played as a dumbass when he was actually running our game plan. And we're done with him now. Mm -hmm. So, um, you Condom know, everybody coordinate against him. And it's almost like that's what's happening. Yeah. It's really weird. It's, it's so weird, man. It's weird how for the last two years, everybody's defended every fucking thing this dude said. Right? Like, the guy shits his pants in front of the fucking Pope. Well, nobody's he, even he, talking he, about, like, who discovered the documents. Listen, like, bro, how is his own legal team dude, discovering dude, the documents? This dude is going around embarrassing our country everywhere. We fuck everywhere. And they're all standing up for him. And now, all of a sudden, they, I mean, bro, look. Just seems weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, another, there's another development too, right? So this is a, a New York Post. Uh, I'm sorry, Breitbart article. Uh, but apparently, uh, this headline reads: "says Document Hunter listed forty nine thousand nine hundred ten dollar monthly rent payments while living at the Joe Biden's residence." Um, but the only problem was, or one of the many problems, I guess, from this, uh, is that. It should be noted, the article says, that Joe Biden's 2017 tax return, which is during the time that Hunter was allegedly staying there, um, on the Schedule E, it only listed $19,800 in rent received. Um, and in 2018, Biden listed no rents received. Um, but it's, it's been confirmed that, you know, Hunter Biden listed this dress at, at his current regi uh, residence during that time. Yeah, but that also doesn't mean that he was paying for that address and rent. What do you mean? Well... I mean, what if he owned another property that he was Oh, no, renting? no. No, no. It, it was that address. What's that? So this was a background screening request. Uh -huh. it has the the uh, the address that we're in question, and it shows how much he's paying in monthly rent. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. definitely fucked up then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, man, I try to be fair. No, devil's advocate. It's important, yeah. bro. It's important because, I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on, but no, it, it's... Well, I... Ex I, I 
I, I definitely expect them now that they're being aggressive towards Biden. Yeah. Um, to start blowing this Hunter shit up too. I mean, oh, this yeah. is how they're going to get him the fuck out. They're yeah. going to expose all the corruption. They're going to expose him as a traitor, which he fucking is. Okay. Uh, and you know, this motherfucker was on TV today again mm -hmm. saying, if you're going to take on the gut, my, I love my right wing friends who say the, the, the tree of Liberty has to occasionally be uh, watered with the blood of patriots. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, man. You know, if you're going to take on the government, you don't need AR-15s. You need F-15. No shit, bro. So, like, let's we can own F-15s now. That, that's actually what the Founding Fathers meant. What they meant was we can own the same equipment that you fuckers can own. And that's the, that should be legal. Technically, we do own that shit. We pay for it. Well, look, man. If we're being, I mean, this dude's on TV threatening the fucking citizens of this country now. Yeah. How, 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 how is it that a president should be fucking threatening the citizens of their fucking country? And he's making a mistake, too, because he's threatening the majority of citizens in the mm -hmm. country. Ten bucks he hides in Ukraine when he gets impeached. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I know this. I know that guy has taken millions and tens of millions of dollars, fucking hundreds of millions of dollars over the course of his life from people that have interests that ain't us. And now he's fucking doing all this shit and none of it for the last two years benefits our country. Does it benefit our country, the amount of money they printed? No. Does it benefit our country, the amount of illegals that they fucking allow across the border? No. Does it benefit our country, the, uh, the way that they continue to propagate tyranny through uh, technology and fucking COVID and all this other bullshit? No. I mean, we could go on and on and on. How much money have they sent to Ukraine? It has not, like, bro, they're fucking milking us. They're destroying our fucking economy intentionally. Intentionally. And this guy's at the fucking front of the line doing it. And don't think that just because the press has turned on him that they don't have somebody worse right behind him. Because mm -hmm. I guarantee you, whatever the fuck they got planned is worse. No, yeah, I think I mean I, I would say that's at some point, point, bro, the citizens of this country have to fucking wake the fuck up to what's really happening, and you need to rise above your self-given identity of Democrat or Republican and see yourself as a fucking citizen of this country and not a part of their fucking club because we ain't in it. Just like George Carlin said, they're they got a club that we ain't in, and it does it, it's, it, it we ain't, we are the peasants and they are the fucking royalty in their minds, and it's there's way more of us than there is them. And like, bro, until people forget, uh, figure that out and, for, and realize that all the infighting and all the shit that we argue about on the internet and fucking hate each other over and all this shit, bro, all that shit's intentional. It's intentional. We're being intentionally played to hate each other over all these trivial fucking bullshit things so that they can do this. Yeah. Well, let's keep building right off of this, man. Going right into headline number two. Um, I'm sure you saw this. Uh, headline number two. A ATF stabilizer brace rule means the registration of millions of guns. Uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, or the ATF, stabilizer brace rule was finalized on January 13th, 2023. And in uh, importance, the registration of millions of guns. Uh, Breitbart News reported the announcement of the finalized rule, noting... Uh, that owners of said braces will have 120 days to register them once the rule is published into the federal register. Um, on the low end, officials estimated about 3 million stabilizing braces are currently in circulation. On the higher end, it could be anywhere between 10 and 40 million. It's that. It's definitely that. Yes. <laughs> so um, for stabilizer brace owners who do not wish to register their guns, the ATF provides four alternatives. They can turn the entire far firearm with the attached stabilizing brace into the ATF. They can destroy the whole firearm. They can convert the short-barreled rifle into a long-barrel rifle, or they can permanently remove and dispose of or alter the stabilizing brace from the firearm so that it cannot be reattached. Um, now, it should be noted that Breitbart News, uh, they noted that the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit struck down the ATF's bump stock ban on January 6, 2023. So just a couple of days ago, there was another big loss. But for them, for them, Andy, I got now look, dude, a bump stock like people don't, like a lot of people don't understand the difference here. 
A bump bro, stock. Bro, the ATF don't even understand. The no, difference. bro. A bump stock could potentially, in my mind, be a way around having a fully automatic weapon. Sure. Like if you have an effective bump stock and you know how to use it, it turns your weapon into fully automatic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, and what a lot of people don't understand is that fully automatic weapons are actually less deadly than semi-automatic weapons because you're just shooting fucking shit all over the place and you're not selecting your target and double tapping or fucking shooting one shot. Most of these dudes that go into combat aren't running through the fucking streets on full auto, bro. They're running through fucking single shotting. So the argument of how dangerous this actually is, is you kind of have to understand that like a bump stock makes you less effective. Exactly. Right? I'll go get somebody with a bump stock all day long. Correct. So, <clears throat> but there's more of an argument for a ban on bump stocks than there is on a fucking brace, a stabilizing brace. And if you understand what the fuck this is, and let's be real about the conversation. The whole reason the stabilizing brace even exists is because they have regulation about owning what's called a SBR, which is a short barrel rifle that you have to register and get paperwork for in so many states, which makes no sense. There's no sense as to why you would have to register a SBR when you can go buy an AR-15 that's fucking three inches longer. It makes no sense, okay? So the whole reason the braces exist is to work around that law. They've identified that after fucking 20 years because they're stupid. Uh, <laughs> and now they're trying to remove that. But the mm -hmm. thing is... <clears throat> is that our constitution says that we have the right to fucking own these things, period. And like the fact that there's any gun laws in terms of like levels of weapons that we, guys, dude, fully automatic machine guns and shit were legal until 1986. You could order that shit off a of Sears you, magazine. Bro, you could. You could order yeah. a Thompson machine gun right out of fucking Sears, bro. Okay? And the fact that those things are fucking totally outlawed in my opinion is against the second amendment and what the fuck it stands for and joe biden could go on stage all fucking day long and say oh what do you guys think the deer wear kevlar vests no motherfucker we think a bunch of tyrants like you fucks are gonna come fuck with us that's the point of the second amendment if you read the second amendment the point is about distributing power evenly against the fucking uh between the citizens and the federal government that's what the Second Amendment is about. It has nothing to do with fucking hunting. And all you fucking idiots out there that think that use that as an argument, you sound like a fucking moron because you don't even know what the Second Amendment's for. All right? So should there be responsible gun laws? I believe there should be. I'm not some total anarchist, no law motherfucker. I believe that if you're a violent criminal, you should not be allowed to own guns. Okay? I believe that even if you serve your time and you're a violent criminal, no guns for you, bro. Sorry. You lost that right. I also believe that if you were going to own a machine gun, you should be able to own it if you want to. I believe that we should be able to buy tanks if we want to. If we can afford to and that's what we want, we should be able to do that because, bro, they have it. All right? Should there be some common sense rules like maybe a clean criminal record and all that shit? Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. But the point is, is that we have to have these tools in order to keep us from what's happened to every single uh, D firearm population in the history of time, which is complete oppression and genocide eventually. Like this, this is real shit. Yeah. Well, here's a good thing, Andy. So like, you know, the state of Illinois, they just put in this assault weapon ban I in the entire that. state. Well, this headline reads sheriffs in 80 Illinois counties say they will not enforce assault weapons ban. How many counties are there in Illinois? Uh, I believe it's 102. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's fucking. That's the great. kind of shit that we that's need to happen in this whole on this whole tyrannical fucking nonsense that's happening, mm -hmm. bro. The sheriffs and the local police departments should stand the fuck up for the people. In fact, bro, uh, we should just not all pay taxes and the police fucking keep them from enforcing that. Right, right. Like, bro, these people are stealing our fucking money, and you guys who are the cops and you the police officers and the sheriffs they're stealing your money too, bro. They're doing all the same shit that you motherfuckers are doing to everybody else. Like, at some point, dude, people with authority and power are going to have to stand up to these motherfuckers. And, bro, this shit over in Illinois, that's bullshit. And, dude, like, I know there's people that are watching this right now or listening to this right now who are from, like, fucking New York, from California, that don't understand guns. Like, they're afraid of guns. Like, bro, I carry a gun everywhere I fucking go. And I have since 2003. I, I, don't, I don't fucking leave. In, I, I don't go anywhere without it. 
anywhere, anytime any of you motherfuckers have ever fucking met me, at any fucking point in time, I've been wearing a fucking weapon. You see me at a fucking speeding, I'm wearing a gun. You see me at the fucking restaurant, I'm wearing a gun. Like anywhere you fucking have met me, I have it on me, bro, all the time. Okay? And there's lots of other people that live that way too. And you want that. Because I can promise you this. If some of these fucking crazy, far left, fucking insane people that they try to paint as far right that actually go in and do this shooting. He walked into a hotel lobby and I'm standing there. I'm putting two in his fucking face. Yeah. If everybody's carrying, the, there's a lower level of fucking around that, that happens. Bro, that is statistically <laughs> proven. The highest fucking... Bro, we've seen it with all these fucking people we like have robbing Maj the stores. Ray on the show explaining yeah. it. The highest levels of gun violence happen in which communities? Communities with the lowest amount of carrying. Legal carrying, I should say. The yeah. communities that ban guns. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, you have to be a special kind of fucking stupid, bro. Real talk. To believe that a law... Okay, the whole definition of a criminal is what? Somebody who breaks it. Okay, somebody who breaks the law. So how fucking stupid do you actually have to be to believe that you can make a law that will keep criminals from doing bad shit? Mm -hmm. Unless the point is to, to make everybody criminals so that we can then oppress. Well, that's the whole other argument, right? You, you know, know, <laughs> nobody's even getting that. Yeah, they think these motherfuckers Here's just the mean. <laughs> the whole point of this whole thing has nothing to do with the brace or anything. I'm glad you brought this back around. What it actually has to do with is making criminals out of the most aggressive pro 2A people in this country. Yeah, 40 the, million of them. This maybe? is a, what if they can take those people off the street? So if they can't remove the guns, how do we remove the people who are the most fucking gun happy? that are the most likely to protect our country from fucking tyranny. What else can't you do when you're a criminal or a felon? Can't vote. I mean, there's a big picture here, guys. I, dude, no shit. That's exactly what this is about. You know. Um, but this is uh, Sheriff Darby uh, Bowie. Uh, his statement he says, uh, quote, part of my duties that I accepted upon being sworn into office was to protect the rights provided to all of us in the Constitution. One of those rights enumerated is the right of the people to keep and bear arms provided under the Second Amendment. The right to keep and bear arms for defense of life, liberty, and property is regarded as an inalienable right by the people. The right to bear, the right to keep and bear arms for the defense of life, liberty, property is regarded as an inalienable right by the people. Period. It does not say for defense of life, liberty, property, and fucking deer hunting. Right. Like, the argument is bullshit. It's a bullshit argument. And so what this, what this is ultimately about, and I think everybody who fucking knows anything about what's going on will agree that this is about criminalizing the most aggressive patriotic people in this country who understand that quote perfectly fine, which is the reason... They invest their money into these sort of weapons. So if they can make criminals out of those people and they can remove them from society somehow or remove their influence from society, they can do what they're going to do much easier, which is why you people on the fucking left and the progressive left should be super pissed about this. Yeah. Like you guys are being fucking played. Oh, a, a law will stop a criminal when the whole <laughs> definition of a criminal is a person who breaks the law. Holy shit, dude. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. Hold on, bro. Let's just make a law there's saying you people can't that rape believe, people. There's people that believe this. Yeah. Let's make a law that says you can't murder nobody. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Bro, this is all... It's all smoking fucking mirrors, bro. It's, it's so no, sinister, No, it ain't smoking man. mirrors. It's a fucking dangerous... And, and it's dangerous for every single person in this country. With the people who are rooting for it and the people who are against it. Because it's about disrupting the balance of power between the citizens and the fucking federal government. And what does that tell you about the federal government when they keep trying to do that? When you got Joe Biden on TV saying, ha, 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 you need F-15s, not AR-15s. Do you not think that that's fucking, do you think that's the way a president should be talking to his fucking citizens? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys can think you're going to overthrow me all you want, but f I'll fucking kill you. Because that's what the fuck he's saying. That's exactly what he's saying. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, guys, that was headline number two, third and final. Bro, headline. I know a bunch of ATF guys, bro. These ATF motherfuckers understand the Second Amendment. They're not about to. Influence they're not it. doing this shit. No. No. You know I'm saying I think the put they're, they're just trying to criminalize all these good fucking yeah. law abiding people. Yeah. And to I mean in hopes to fucking good luck enforcing them, it too. Because it is 40 million. It's not fucking three. It might be more than 40, bro. Bro, every dude I know that's in the guns has all kinds of fucking braces. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna fucking SBR all mine. I'm just gonna hide mine upstairs. No, nah, I'm just gonna SBR all mine. Biden can't do stairs well. Yeah, no shit. Well, guys, that was headline number two. I want to SBR all my shit anyway. I've yeah. just been lazy no, about doing should. all the shit. Yeah. But the point is, we shouldn't even have to do paperwork for that. Shouldn't have to do it. Well, and that's the other part of it, too. Like, you got to pay us 200 bucks so we don't make you a criminal. Yeah. Per, per, per weapon. Per, per weapon. Yeah. Okay. Bro, it's crazy to me, bro. Like, how many people who don't grow up, like, like dude, we're in Missouri, right? Like, every motherfucker walking down the streets got fucking guns. Mm -hmm. Every fucking dude, my grandma one. got a gun. Yeah, everybody does. Everybody carries. And, uh, you know, it's crazy to me that people that come from these, like, more liberal areas, like, how they react when they even see a gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Oh, God. my. Dude, it's, like, absurd. Like, one Is time. Is that an assault semi-automatic weapon? One time I was, uh, I was doing an MFCO project, and one of the dudes that came in, these guys were young. They were, like, maybe, like, 22 or some shit. And. You know, I fucking sat down and, you know, what happens sometimes when you sit down when you're carrying a gun all the time? You take it out of your fucking pocket or take it out of your, off your waistband and fucking set it on the table because guess what? It's not the most comfortable when you're sitting down. So I fucking take the gun out and stat, set it on the table, bro. You would have thought, you, bro. He's going to rob us. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, the, the, their faces turn fucking pale white. Yeah. I'm like, what? And they're like, is that a gun? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. That's a Glock 17. Right? Yeah. But like, it's just like, holy shit, dude. Like the way they reacted, it was just like, holy shit, man. Yeah. Like you guys really don't know shit mm -hmm. about fucking anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like these motherfuckers couldn't change a tire. You know the video of the dude, guy you know, shooting no, that gun and he You cries? know what I'm saying though? Like, dude, par pardon. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Pow. <laughs> and then it shows a little nine-year-old girl fucking unloading yeah but dude like, like come this, on, man. it's sad because yeah. think of how sheltered they really have been like these motherfuckers can't figure out how to change a fucking tire bro they don't know they don't know how to shoot a gun they don't know how to fucking do anything practical at all like and then the worst part is they have the attitude of anything that they don't understand is fucking bad mm-hmm no, they're doing it's like, that, and they can't protect themselves. Like and then they want to defund the people who will, and then, bro, it's all idealistic fucking bullshit nonsense. That gets you nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of more idealistic nonsense, I got headline number three, and as promised, <laughs> dicks, dicks, guys. Headline number three. I was waiting for it. Woke. I've been over here salivating. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. For all the dicks. <laughs> Woke $10 million MLK penis statue insults black community. Coretta Scott King Ken. Okay, now listen. I would say it should be insulting. It should be insulting. And just th this is a $10 million for that penis. $10 million piece of shit. for that large penis, man. Shit's crazy. Bro, what is that really supposed to be? Well, so I got I got I got the picture it's supposed to be after, but the article reads it says, even some kin of Coretta Scott King hate the new $10 million sculpture just dedicated to her and her iconic civil rights leader husband in Boston with a cousin claiming it looks like a penis. The massive bronze piece titled The Embrace features two sets of arms holding each other, an artistic interpretation of the classic photo of Coretta and hubby Martin Luther King Jr. hugging after he won the Nobel Peace Prize. So here's the picture that it was modeled after, okay? And wish.com, this is what we got. Okay. So go back. Yeah. Okay. Which one? Which go one? Go back. Is? This one? And back again. How is that that how are those the two same things? Like how how is that yeah. a representation of that picture at all? Yeah. The only thing that's even kind of similar is that she has her little bracelet on that they put on the mm -hmm. Bro, listen, man. <laughs> so, wait, wait. 
Oh, there's more. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, like, I, I, the cousin goes in pretty hard, man. Okay? She says, uh, the main, quote, the mainstream media was reporting on it like it was all beautiful because they were told that they had to say that. Seneca Scott, Coretta Scott's king, this is Coretta Scott's king cousin. Okay? She told the Post by phone Sunday, referring to the new artwork on the Boston. She said, but then when it came out, a little boy pointed out, that's a penis. And everyone was like, yo, that's a big old dong, man, <laughs> said the 43-year-old Oakland, California resident. Quote, if you had showed that statue to anyone in the hood, they'd been like, no, absolutely not. He added scornfully that the compact magazines, uh, $10 million were wasted to create a masturbatory mental homage to my legendary family members. One of the all-time greatest American families, Seneca told the Post that, quote, woke culture allowed that expensive abstract experiment to come to fruition. Members of the King's family uh, last week unveiled the artwork near where MLK and Coretta first met in college. So, yeah, it's, it's a Bro, big I old doll. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to. Bro, that's what the fuck it looks like. Yeah, man. I mean, why they like why they leave the head off? Dude, listen, it's bullshit. It's shit art, okay? This is this is look, man. Any single any single person that would look at this would say that's fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she's right. They are told to say that. Yeah. I'm sorry, I think and, I misquote. It was a it's a him. Oh, him. Cynic, yeah, well, he's right. Dude. Yeah. And you know what else, dude? Uh, if they really wanted to pay homage, they would have made an exact s statue of that fucking moment. Yeah. Okay. But because our country is being overrun by communist fucking culture and Marxist culture, they do not do things that inspire any sort of identity or any sort of pride. This is why the buildings look like shit. This is why we aren't building beautiful cathedrals anymore. This is why all of our cities look the same. They're minimalist garbage that don't inspire any sort of pride everything in our culture is designed to demoralize us and this is an example of that so all of the people who are upset about this just realize that this is another product of marxist slash communist ideology that is designed for american citizens to have no pride in their history yeah. that's what this is about okay so yeah it's fucking bullshit and you know what? If you want to tear a fucking statue down, why don't we start with that one? <laughs> Instead of the motherfuckers like Ulysses S. Grant, who was actually on the ground freeing the fucking slaves. Okay? So, I, it, demoralization, 100%. This is intentional. It's supposed to be garbage. It's supposed to be disgusting. It's supposed to be despicable. Because when they erase history and erase the pride that we have in our own culture and history, it is easy for them to install a new system. That's what the fuck this is about, in my opinion. Like, that shit should be torn the fuck down, bro. Oh, 100%, man. Like, that's a, put that's the a, heads on it at bro, least. Bro, that is an insult to the good work that that man did. And a lot of people say he was a Marxist or he was a this or he was a that. Maybe so. I don't fucking know, bro. I wasn't there. But the man that the history painted him to be was one of the greatest fucking Americans that ever lived. No. And he deserves better than that. That's a fact. His message of hope and love and unity, okay, that's an important message. Nothing about Mark. That the the message, the me, message yeah. of judging people by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin is an important message. So, like, I don't really like that people are trying to like tarnish his reputation by saying all this shit. I don't know you, but these people don't know fucking either. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like people see one meme about something, all of a sudden, you know, everybody's bad. I don't know. But I know this, the message that that man is remembered for is a very fucking important message that we should all strive to embody. Yeah, facts. Well, guys, it is our final segment of the show where we uh, show a headline. It's either going to get a thumbs up or to be dumb as fuck. With that being said, as promised. It's got to be more dicks. More penises. Yeah. <laughs> Penis-shaped rock believed to improve performance in bed attracts visitors. So basically, everybody goes there can't fuck. Basically. Yeah. So my question is, when are we, when are we booking a flight? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Okay, okay, for real. 
Okay, the article reads, forget the Hard Rock Cafe. This Hard Rock is the latest tourist attraction. Men from near and far are visiting this bizarre penis-shaped landform with hopes uh, some of its mystical or mythical sexual magic will rub off or help them find a soulmate. Local tourists in Indonesia are floating along the rocky inlets of... uh, Sukabumi. Sukabumi? Sukabumi, Sukabumi Regency, uh, West Java, to see the notorious penis rock. Decades of erosion and weathering erected a natural stone formation into, erected. The, shape, <laughs> into the shape of resembling a man's genitals. Okay, The bizarre stone can be seen jutting out from an inlet in the uh, Celta uh, Palabaranutu uh, UNESCO Global Geopark. Okay. Uh, says, quote, this stone has been around for a long time. Longer than four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Better call a doctor. It, it, it may have been formed thousands of years ago. And, and, and local people call it a penis rock. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a picture. All right. Everybody just grow the fuck up here real quick. Okay. <laughs> Bro, whose dick looks like that? Bro. <laughs> Come on, man. If that's if that's I don't want that one. That must be the white dude rock. That's what I'm saying. I'm that's saying, no, that's dude. Indonesia. Now I did find a picture. Here's the one in Africa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, dude, apparently. <laughs> I'll just wait till I show you the one from uh from from Ireland. <laughs> oh, bro. No, but yeah, I mean, come on, dude. That doesn't look like that. That doesn't look like a dick. I, I can kind of see it. It looks like a very tiny little dick. Yeah, it's a micro penis. Yeah, but then again, it, this is a big rock formation. I mean, it's got a so, helmet. Yeah, you got a helmet. Yeah, circumcised. Yeah. Well, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I would rather go see the one in Africa. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. No, no shit. I think we all would want to see the one in Africa. Yeah. But yeah, so I mean, and apparently it takes like a 30 minute fucking boat ride to get there. So yeah, I mean, I, what, what we got on this, Andy? I mean, I think this is dumb. Yeah. Dumb as fuck. Yeah. Just ride, you know, boat ride 30 minutes. I wouldn't or... go. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to look at that. No, no. That's not impressive. Well, they're saying it gives you the mythical, like, like there's some magical. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like I, these, yeah, and these these fuckers in our government really got our best interests in mind. Yeah, no shit. I got some oceanfront property in fucking Arizona, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I sell it to you for cheap. Come on. Dumb as fuck, man. I got yeah, you. I'm not in on that. I got it. Well, guys, hey, that's all I got. You know, we did have this tree one time at my dad's house mm-hmm. that, like, if you st- like, it looked like it had a dick coming out of it. I think I posted on Instagram before. Hmm. JB lives there now. We have to go see if it's still there. So the tree has a dick coming out of it? Yeah, but like right at like dick height. So like if you stand next to it, <laughs> like, you know, if you stand next to it, it looks it's, like you got it. yours. Yeah. Okay. And it's like anatomically correct. Like it's not like. What does a, that mean? It means it's like the right size. What's the right size? Well, if you saw the fucking tree, you know, because that's the right fucking size. <laughs> That little rock is not the right size. Okay, got it. I just needed the reference. That's what I was asking. I'm just saying, man. That ain't it. That tree, I'll find that picture, bro. I know I got it. (laughs) I'll post it on my Instagram. Probably get fucking banned for it. (laughs) It really does look like a fucking dick's growing right out of the tree, though. Tree dick. Dick Talk about morning read. Morning Morning wood. wood. Yeah, Yeah. there you go. (laughs) Okay. All right. That's all I got, man. Yeah. So that's the dick show. Share it.